The Douglas World Cruiser DWC was developed to meet a requirement from the United States Army Air Service for an aircraft suitable for an attempt at the first flight around the world. The Douglas Aircraft Company responded with a modified variant of their DT torpedo bomber, the DWC. Five aircraft were ordered for the round-the-world flight, one for testing and training and four for the actual expedition. The success of the World Cruiser bolstered the international reputation of the Douglas Aircraft Company. The design of the DWC was later modified to create the O-5 observation aircraft, which was operated by the Army Air Service. Topic: <laughs> Design and development. In 1923, the U.S. Army Air Service was interested in pursuing a mission to be the first to circumnavigate the Earth by aircraft, a program called World Flight. Donald Douglas proposed a modified Douglas Aircraft Company DT to meet the Army's needs. The two-place, open-cockpit DT biplane torpedo bomber had previously been supplied to the Navy, thus shortening production time for the new series. The DTs to be modified were taken from the assembly lines at the company's manufacturing plants in Rock Island, Illinois and Dayton, Ohio. Douglas promised that the design could be completed within 45 days after receiving a contract. The Air Service agreed and lent Lt. Eric Nelson, a member of the War Department Planning Group, to assist Douglas. Nelson worked directly with Douglas at the Santa Monica, California factory, to formulate the new proposal, the modified aircraft known as the Douglas World Cruiser DWC, powered by a 420-horsepower Liberty L-12 engine, also was the first major project at Douglas for Jack Northrop. Northrop designed the fuel system for the series. The conversion involved incorporating a total of six fuel tanks in wings and fuselage. For greater range, the total fuel capacity went from 115 gallons (435 liters) to 644 gallons (2,438 liters). Other changes from the DT involved having increased cooling capacity, as well as adding two separate tanks for oil and water. To ensure a more robust structure, a tubular steel fuselage, strengthened bracing, a modified wing of 49 feet 15 meters wingspan and larger rudder were required. The dual cockpits for the pilot and co-pilot, crewmen were also located more closely together with a cutout in the upper wing to increase visibility. Like the DT, the DWC could be fitted with either floats or a conventional landing gear for water or ground landings. Two different radiators were available, with a larger version for tropical climbs. After the prototype was delivered in November 1923, upon the successful completion of tests on 19 November, the Army commissioned Douglas to build four production series aircraft. Due to the demanding expedition ahead, spare parts, including 15 extra Liberty engines, 14 extra sets of pontoons, and enough replacement airframe parts for two more aircraft were specified and sent to waypoints along the route. The last aircraft was delivered on the 11th of March 1924. Topic Operational history From 17 March 1924, the pilots practiced in the prototype which served as a training aircraft. On 6 April 1924, the four expedition aircraft, named Boston, Chicago, New Orleans and Seattle, departed Sand Point, Washington, near Seattle, Washington. 
Seattle, the lead aircraft, crashed in Alaska on 30 April. The other three aircraft with Chicago assuming the lead, continued west across Asia and Europe relying on a carefully planned logistics system, including preposition spare engines and fuel caches maintained by the U.S. Navy and Coast Guard, to keep the aircraft flying. The Boston was forced down and damaged beyond repair in the Atlantic, off the Faroe Islands. The remaining two aircraft continued across the Atlantic to North America, where they were joined by the Boston II at Picto, Nova Scotia. The recently rechristened prototype continued with the flight back to Washington and on the World Flight's ceremonial flypast across the United States. The three surviving aircraft returned to Seattle on 28 September 1924. The flight covered 23,942 nanometers, 44,342 kilometers. Time in flight was 371 hours, 11 minutes and average speed 70 miles per hour. Topic: Company After the success of the World Cruiser, the Army Air Service ordered six similar aircraft as observation aircraft, retaining the interchangeable wheel, float undercarriage, but with much less fuel and two machine guns on a flexible mounting in the rear cockpit. These aircraft were initially designated DOS Douglas Observation Seaplane, but were redesignated 05 in May 1924. The success of the DWC established Douglas Aircraft Company among the major aircraft companies of the world and led it to adopt the motto, First around the world, first the world around. The company also adopted a logo that showed aircraft circling a globe, replacing the original winged heart logo. Topic survivors In returning to their starting point, during the ceremonial flight across the United States, when the aircraft made it to Chicago for a celebration attended by thousands, Lieutenant Smith, as the spokesman for the mission, addressed the crowd. Eddie Rickenbacker, the celebrated flying ace and chair of the welcoming committee, formally requested that the Chicago, as the mission flagship, remain in its host city, donated to the Field Museum of Natural History. Major General Mason M. Patrick, Chief of the Air Service, was on hand to accept the request, and promised its formal consideration. Upon the request of the Smithsonian Institution, however, the U.S. War Department transferred ownership of the Chicago to the National Museum. It made its last flight, from Dayton, Ohio to Washington, D.C., on 25 September 1925. It was almost immediately put on display in the Smithsonian's Arts and Industries building. In 1974, the Chicago was restored under the direction of Walter Roderick, and transferred to the new National Air and Space Museum building for display in their Baron Hilton Pioneers of Flight Exhibition Gallery. Beginning in 1957, the New Orleans was displayed at the National Museum of the United States Air Force in Dayton, Ohio. The aircraft was on loan from the Los Angeles County Museum of Natural History and was returned in 2005. Since February 2012, the New Orleans is to be a part of the exhibits at the Museum of Flying, Santa Monica, California. The wreckage of the Seattle was recovered and is now on display in the Alaska Aviation Museum. The original Boston sank in the North Atlantic, and it is thought that the only surviving piece of the original prototype, the Boston II, is the aircraft data plate, now in a private collection, and a scrap of fuselage skin, in the collection of the Vintage Wings and Wheels Museum in Poplar Grove, Illinois. Reproduction aircraft. 
Bob Dempstra of Seattle, Washington, built an airworthy reproduction Douglas World Cruiser, the Seattle II, powered by a restored Liberty engine, which made its maiden flight on 29 June 2016. He plans to repeat the Around the World flight in Seattle too, starting in April 2017. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Operator. United States United States Army Air Service. Topic: <inaudible> Specifications DWC and DOS with wheels, floats McDonnell Douglas Aircraft since 1920, Volume 1 Data from McDonnell Douglas Aircraft since 1920, Volume I General Characteristics Crew 2 Length 35 feet 6 in 10.82 meters land plane 39 feet 12 meters float plane wingspan 50 feet 0 in 15.24 meters height 13 feet 7 in 4.14 meters land plane 15 feet 1 in 4.60 meters float plane wing area 707 square feet 65.7 square meters airfoil USA 27 Empty weight, 4,380 pounds, 1,987 kilograms, land plane, 5,180 pounds, 2,350 kilograms, float plane, gross weight, 6,995 pounds, 3,173 kilograms, land plane, 7,795 pounds, 3,536 kilograms, float plane, fuel capacity, 644 US gal, 536 imp gal, 2,440 L in six tanks, DOS 100. 110 US gal 92 imp gal 420 L power plant 1 times liberty L12 V12 water cooled piston engine 420 horsepower 310 kilowatts propellers two bladed fixed pitch wooden propellers performance Maximum speed 103 miles per hour, 166 kilometers per hour, 90 knots at sea level, land plane 100 miles per hour, 87 knots, 160 kilometers per hour, float plane, ferry range 2,200 miles, 1,912 nmi, 3,541 kilometers. Land plane 1650 miles 1430 nmi 2660 kilometers float plane service ceiling 10000 feet 3000 meters land plane 7700 feet 2300 meters float plane wing loading 9.9 .9 pounds per square foot 48 kilograms per square meter land plane 11 pounds per square foot, 54 kilograms per square meter. Float plane power mass, 0.06 horsepower per pound, 0.099 kilowatts per kilogram. Land plane, 0.054 horsepower per pound, 0.089 kilowatts per kilogram. Float plane armament. Guns DOS 2X 0.3 in 7. 6 mm machine guns on a flexible mount in the rear cockpit. See also Related development Douglas Taircraft of comparable role, configuration and era Davis Douglas Cloudster Fokker T. 2